Hey, what's happening, fishing people? This is Captain RL with FLFishingSpots.com. Here we are again. We're blasting out these videos as fast as we can go. And today, as you can see, this is the Destin fishing area. And this happens to be the GPS file of the Destin area. So we're just going to kind of pan around, show you some depths. Uh, we normally don't show the GPS view. This is internal software we use in-house when uh, when the guys get with us at the meetings and we organize these spots. So this is the newest version for 2019. So on this side is Barnacle and Reefy X, Williams, etc. And then we're, we're going to get to the good stuff, but I want to show you. And then inshore, as you guys know, until you break 15 miles out of desk and you're not fishing. Not really. Not usually. So we just got some of the inshore reefs inside there. The good bottom starts right out in here. And this is where you have the depths that go from, like you see here, you see from 98, or excuse me, from 91 to 105, things like that. And uh, this is a, there's a lot of limestone bottom and live patch all through here. And as you can see, like one of my favorite spots, when I go over to fish with the guys, are all these fingers right here and I'll tell you how far out these are and this is just one of the, one of the good areas from the inlet you're looking at you guys can't see at the bottom of the screen what I can see here but this is about 12 13 miles straight out um, it's a uh, it's not far to run this is where I would start of live patch limestone things like that and what that is is patch bottom is just some kind of live growth whether it be uh, small potato head corals uh, things of that nature that hold uh, the zooplankton at the ecosystem's bottom base level you get bait fish that hold there you get other fish that hold there and when you chum you turn it into a basically a war zone of fish fighting over food so when you when you come across these spots if you mark any bait or anything on the bottom at all that resembles a fish or bait or anything you, you, you need to fish that and you need to fish it hard so anyhow let's uh let's pop on out to some of the further stuff these are bottom drifting spots out this way as they're labeled and there's more info on that i'll show you in a minute in the comments and as we get out this way you got some stuff out here by the maritime wreck on the edge like the rosebud ledges you start the mingo stuff here here and here this is out to about 200 feet okay then down this edge over here you got some good spots as well and you got the wreck um, there's a tug wreck right here that's really really good about 140 yeah there it is right there it's in 131 feet there's a tug there that's excellent I've caught a lot of grouper off that and then um, I'm, I'm gonna move this uh, screen over a little bit more you can see out on the uh, out on the edge here on the southwest edge we've got some uh, we got some good spots here too and you might it, this draw as you guys know you might be in 190 and it just dropped right on off to 300 right here pretty quick like so anywhere along there all these spots are kind of close together as you drift this you can kind of drift from spot to spot kind of a control drift using your outboards or your motors and uh, and hit a lot of a lot of bottom. That's the way we have this set up to drift. All these offshore spots, we've got them set up to drift that way, and they're not that far apart, so you don't have to make these long runs just to check one spot. So that's kind of a look at the GPS view. Your map will probably look totally different than this. Again, it will probably your map will probably look totally different than this on your GPS. Because um, again, this is just some internal software and NOAA maps we use for organizing your GPS probably will have way different mapping than this but all these spots no matter what GPS you have or what uh, extra mapping you may have such as Navionics G3 etc whatever you have these spots will load onto it seamlessly and it will not interfere with your current spots it'll add to your waypoints list it'll add them right in like not like you entered them all manually and it'll work with any of the mapping you already have. I don't care if it even see clear, um, see more, uh, all, all any any of the lake view, whatever you have. Not that you'd have lake view out here, but what I'm making the point of is that these spots will load with any other mapping, and it'll load seamlessly into that mapping and into your waypoints list. Okay, we'll pop over and look at the Google Know of you for a second, where we can zoom in and look at a couple of comments. 
when you get out um i'm just focusing on the stuff where i know that there's fish being caught right now way out this is at like 25 miles got many ledges here scattered good bottom of course everybody you know you know what mingo is it's it's basically patching live bottom it's good good bottom fishing and you never know uh, pelagic wise what you may run into so always have a live line when you're fishing any of this stuff anything out here anything, anything beyond about 70 feet you better be watching out for something to swim by you a cobia uh wahoo big king literally anything can swim out of deep water up onto these ledges so this is entirely a good area and again i want to get back in and um focus on the 90 ledges in here what we call them or the fingers some people call them when you get spots like this that drop from 90 to 104 feet that's notable i mean you, you got to go fish that that's a big ridge and these are often overlooked and people run on out to starfish or they, they run over here to uh reefy axe and barnacle or even further out but you want to hit these on the way out and if anything as you as you ride through if any of these limestone spots if you mark anything on this natural bottom um you you, you probably want to hit it at least spend a few minutes on it this stuff again is not very far apart I'm just showing you some comments and some spot names here. And again, this is the Google Noah view. Now, a lot of people don't like this map because it's it's too detailed and it's like too cluttered for some people and they just don't like it. And in that case, that's why we send the Noah map file separately. And we also send a Google satellite view only file, which will also load the spots, but without the map detail. And if you open that file, you would close this one close this map out on your google earth and then go back to your email and pop open the google earth sat view file and once again you'll get this gps spots file then load to your gps um, and you also get uh, google earth view files so you get a satellite view from uh, a google earth file and you'll get a NOAA map view from a google earth file and i've already got these um download to the computer it looks a little different on mobile Real quick while we're, while we're talking about this area there's a coordinates list and uh this one this coordinate i'm gonna open this this coordinates list is uh would be destined if you ordered it but we have the the boat ramps in here just for the video because i want to show you what's included and uh, a lot of people have struggled with if they want just the coordinates they, they really struggle with trying to figure out where to get the coordinates from out of the product well here they are they're in this PDF file this is included with any area not the boat ramp spot this would be <laughs> this would be your destined spots or whatever area you ordered and there it is and this this format that it's in there's the name of the spot on this side and then here's the coordinates over here and this this is formatted for about 95 percent of the gps's in the world are, are using this format so if you need the gps coordinates pop open the coordinates list it's labeled in capital letters coordinates list in your list of downloads so anyhow that's a quick look at destin and um we'll pull we'll pull a tape real quick just before we go okay the further south spots are at about 28 miles straight out if you go to the southwest edge that's about 28 miles the further spots down to the south are about 26 miles so this basically there's nothing over about 32 miles no matter which direction you go from Destin that's about how we've got it set up but anyhow you guys have a great day and uh, please let me know if you have any questions send an email to gpsfishingmaps at gmail.com or you can visit the website at flfishingspots.com of course as seen in the logo top left and um, search for anything you like on the site there's a search button there or scroll down the home page when you land at flfishingspots.com and you will see a huge list of fishing spots at any rate you guys have a good day be safe on the water and until next time fish on